Hi, this is Frank Carmody. Today we're going to take a look at uh, Autodesk Inventor 2013. We're going to be looking at the loft and sweep uh, options. Or I'm sorry, the sweep and coil options. So let's take a look at the sweep first. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, of course, is to create a 2D sketch. In this case, we're going to take a, create our 2D sketch on the YX plane, so it's kind of standing up nicely for us. Um, and we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, create a uh, rectangle to sweep. Now, we could sweep any shape, but rectangle's a little bit easier. Now, in general, uh, if you were doing it, you'd, be, you'd go ahead and dimension here. Um, I'm just going to dimension quickly. You would set these for whatever you wanted to... Uh, whatever was the appropriate uh, thing for your drawing. Okay, so we're going to right-click Finish 2D Sketch. Okay, now for this for the sweep, uh, you need to go ahead and create a work plane. And that work plane should be, whoops, uh, we want to go ahead and open up the origin. Okay, now notice that I clicked the work plane tool first. So I want to go ahead and go to the YZ plane. So notice it's perpendicular to my original drawing. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then I'm going to go over and I'm going to uh, click on. Oops, here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to drag it. I'm just going to drag it out and back. Notice that I have a zero inch offset. I'm going to click the green check. Okay, so now I have my work plane. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and put a 2D sketch on that new work plane. So I click the 2D sketch. I'm going to click the work plane. All right, so now I'm drawing, notice I'm drawing perpendicular to my original drawing, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two lines here. Okay, now in in your sketch, you really only need to, need to create one line, um, but we're going to do kind of a complicated one uh, where you actually create two lines. Okay, now the trick here is that we want to we make this uh, line actually intersect with the original sketch. Okay, so let's go ahead... Um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit just to let myself, uh, oops. Now notice I can go over with the hand. When I click out of the hand, I'm still in my spline tool. So we want to create a very gentle curve with the spline tool. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and click the uh, check there. So I have kind of a gentle curve with the spline tool. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to just make a straight line with the other with the other line on the other side. Okay, so I have two lines. Right click OK. Alright, so now what I have here is I have a sketch that's perpendicular to my original sketch. I have a curved line and a straight line, both of which intersect or go through the original sketch, if you notice that. Okay, so I'm going to right click Finish 2D Sketch. Now I'm going to go up to my Sweep tool. Okay, um, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to go uh, we're going to we're going to go ahead and select path and guide rail. Okay, now path would just be one line, guide rail would be two lines, and path and guide surface uh, would be a would be an original path and the guide surface. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and select path and guide rail. Okay, so we have to select three things. The first of which is the profile. Okay, so which is already selected. Notice it automatically selected the rectangle because that's the only profile. The path we're going to select is the uh, curved line, and the guide rail we're going to select is the straight line. Okay, so notice what happens here. Basically what we have here is we have a shape now that ha is curved on one side and straight on the other. Okay, let's go ahead and click cancel. Now what if we, what if we did a uh, sweep, and you notice it selects my profile again, Notice it automatically selects path. So what if we just had a, a sweep where only the path, only the curve line was selected? Notice that it just, it basically takes the shape over the path, right? Now we have a couple different options here. We can say on the path. We can also click parallel, which gives us a bit of a different shape. Okay, and notice that if we click path and guide rail, that if we go ahead, now that just basically allows us to select that third line. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and click OK. All right, so there we have it. We have a sweep along a path and a guide rail. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this off. Okay, and we're going to call this Lesson 7. And we're going to call it 
Sweep. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close this and we're going to take a look at the coil function. So let's go ahead and click the X. And we're going to open a new IPT, so I'm going to do my drop down part file. Okay, uh, now uh, what we're going to do in this case is we are going to um, we're going to create a 2D sketch. Okay, and so there we go. Uh, now what we're going to do in this case is we're actually going to create kind of a complicated shape because it's just more fun if the shape is complicated. So I'm going to draw a couple uh, circles in here. And we're going to go ahead and trim off the excess. Okay, so we're going to leave kind of a complicated shape out here. All right, now we're going to go ahead and make a line outside of that shape. Okay. All right, so we have two things. We have a line. We have a line and we have a shape, uh, you know, a closed path, right? Or, I'm sorry, a profile and a line. Now we're going to right-click to finish 2D sketch. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and click Coil. We have the profile here, and then we're going to click the axis. Okay, that's the other thing we have to choose. So we're going to choose the axis of the line. Okay, now notice that now my the coil has actually been made. Notice that I have this uh, this preview of how the coil is going to rotate. Okay, so now we can go ahead and start um, selecting options. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the direction of the coil. I want it to go up and not down. We can change this coil size so we can say that the pitch, this is how far away each revolution is from each other. So the revolutions is how many times it goes around. Let's say I want it to go 10 times. Okay. Now let's say the pitch, the pitch is how far away each coil is from this. Now the pitch is where you get most of your errors. So if the, if the, if the part runs into itself, then you're going to get an error. So let's say we want the pitch is going to be 2 inches. Okay, and then we can also specify a taper, and watch what happens with the taper. Okay, so the taper means that 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 uh, it's going to actually get larger as it goes up. So notice if I can make the taper to be a five, notice it really gets larger as it goes up. And then finally, the coil ends. You can actually make the end flat, natural, uh, and you can kind of experiment with these ends. It's how the, basically the coil finishes off. So let's say we want the end to be flat. Okay, uh, and we're going to go ahead and click OK, and let's see what this does. Okay, it's working here, and notice that it went ahead and created that coil. So let's go in and take a look at what uh, what actually happened there. So that was our coil, and notice that that shape that we originally made gets gets placed right up that path. Uh, it's pretty cool. Now we can go back. Let's say that we want to go back in and we want to change our coil. Okay, now this this happens quite a bit. So let's say you know every feature you make is over here in the explorer bar. Uh, so we can double click on the coil one. And we can change the pitch, we can change the revolution. So let's say we want the pitch to go down to 1. We want our revolutions to go up to 20. We can go ahead and click OK. And let's see if we can get it to error out here. Nope, uh, didn't error. Our pitch was OK. Um, OK, so there is our coil. And you can do quite a bit of experimentation with that. Let's go ahead and save off. Okay, so we're going to do uh, call this lesson seven coil. Okay, so for this lesson, uh, go ahead and create a sweep and a coil. Uh, save them off and turn them in, uh, and good luck.